So hopefully this will be short and sweet. I uh, was doing some work around the house the other day and um, and was going to be using a screwdriver quite a bit. And I remembered this tool that my dad had. He was an industrial electrician and he had this skill electric screwdriver that uh, I ended up with after he passed away. And the thing was just worn slap out because, like I said, he was an industrial electrician and he had... Uh, carpal tunnel and bad wrists, and so he used that little electric screwdriver for everything. And I thought, you know, that would be pretty handy. And so I picked up uh, this little tool right here. This is a DeWalt DCF680 cordless screwdriver. Uh, it uses 8 volt batteries. And for 120 bucks, you get the tool, you get uh, a couple of uh, 8 volt batteries, you get the charger, you get a little, you know, bit clip that I guess goes on top of this thing. Yeah, fits in right there. So in addition, you get a little carrying case with it, which, you know, who cares about all that stuff, right? We're here about the tool. And, uh, you know, this thing just turned out to be just super duper nifty. Um, it is convertible with a pistol grip, which I don't really find super useful. Um, I find it much more natural in the extended setup so that it feels more like an actual screwdriver in the hand. Um, this one has adjustable torque, so up here on top you got your torque adjustment. It will go from 1 up to 15, and then if you keep turning it goes into max, which pretty much locks the thing in. Um, in addition, I spent, you know, another like, I don't know, 30 bucks or so and picked up a bit set, and so this has like 45 uh, bits. This thing uses quarter inch bits and they're they're pretty easy to use. Um, you just shove them in there, they lock in, and then if you pull this lock ring they pop out. And you know that's pretty much it. It's got the on off button here and it's got a little lock out so that you can lock the button to keep it from uh, from getting pushed. But that's it. That's, that's the entire control system. Um, you just get the on off switch um, you've got your clutch for the uh, the torque adjustment, and then again, it's just a quick change little bit adjustment there. Now, I'll show you how the thing works, and, and one of the handiest features is this gyroscopic technology that it's got built in. Um, and so the way this thing works, so basically whenever you push the button, nothing happens. It holds still, and, you know, it's not spinning at all, and this gyroscope inside sets the vertical kind of indication. And then when you twist your wrist one way or the other, it spins. And so you basically have built-in speed control and direction control based on how you tilt your wrist, which I have found to be extremely handy because uh, if you back the torque way, way off to its lightest setting, and then you push this button and you start trying to turn a really small screw, you can really ease up on that thing without crushing a screw. So if you're doing something with small screws in plastic, you can actually really finely drive those things in. Now at the same time, if you're on a screw, before it gets tight, you can push that button and hammer it, and it will go full speed. This thing tops out allegedly at uh, 430 RPM. So uh, let me check that real quick. I actually haven't done much testing on this thing to see if it meets its specs, but uh, I can break out the, the little indicator here and see uh, what kind of speed it really does get. All right, so here we go with the tack and... Yeah, about 460. Um, so, you know, rated speed 430, it's hitting 460. That's, you know, pretty great. So, you know, it does what it claims as far as RPMs. Now, it doesn't really have a torque rating. Um, Project Farm did review a bunch of uh, electric screwdrivers, and the DeWalt did pretty well. Now, he tested the version without the clutch, but he found, I think, that it pulled about 21 inch-pounds in that testing, which was up there with the best of them. Uh, I think Milwaukee has a version that claims like 40-something inch-pounds, but in his testing, it would only do like 21 also. Um, I would say that the torque is adequate. And so just to demonstrate, like, what does that mean, uh, let's do a little torque test uh, driving a screw into a 2x4. All right, so I've got a number 8 uh, sheet metal screw. It's an inch and a half long. Let me crank 
this thing over to max torque. Um, and, you know, remember that your wrist has to be able to handle as much torque as you're trying to transmit uh, to the screw. So uh, you do have to hang on to it pretty good whenever you're doing this stuff. But here you go. And buried. So, yeah, as far as torque, I, I you know, that's sufficient, you know. Um, I don't have a measurement for you, but, I mean, if driving an inch and a half worth of number eight screw into, you know, a, a nice soft board isn't enough, then you probably want to go to a drill, right? This isn't a drill. It's a screwdriver. And the other thing I'll point out is uh, whenever you do have it maxed out, um, it will you know, do its own max, but it basically, you can still put a little hand torque on it. Um, it's pretty stout, right? So um, it works great. Now, as far as getting that thing back out, let's see if it'll get it out. Now, this is going to be tricky because I have to uh, get some pressure on it to keep it from uh, jumping out. And that thing's hot as crap. So, yeah, um, torque sufficient. And you can see it does have uh, a little flashlight there on the end as well. Um, yeah, so overall, you know, that's really all I've got to say. This thing, I have found it to be incredibly useful. That little clutch adjustment has been uh, the bee's knees. I was working on a, a server case the other day. The thing had like 18 little bitty tiny screws. And you put the right bit. Because, you know, once you get this bit set, you've got bits for all kinds of stuff. You know, it's got hex and uh, star bits and nut drivers and all kinds of things. You find the right bit for the screw. You, you know, slack that torque off as much as you can. And then, man, you can just rip through screws with this thing. Uh, super nice. Uh, it's a luxury. Uh, you know, obviously you can do everything by hand. But uh, this sucker works great. And so, you know, for the money... It, to me, it's totally worth it. So uh, that's it. That's all I got to say about it. I just thought that this was a pretty great little addition to my toolkit and figured I'd share it with you. Uh, anyway, if you got any comments or feedback, as always, just leave them down below. Thanks.